course. Now I have to take a shit. You working from home today, boo? Yeah, Laser Moon is an epic disaster right now. Sorry, babe. It'll be alright. How's the new apartment coming along? Not great. I have no idea what to do with this place. I'm just sitting in a chair in the middle of a giant empty circle. Like, where am I supposed to put the TV? I told you that place sucked. I know, but they got me with the view. I mean, look at it, though. Yeah, the view. So we still planning on getting together this weekend? Sure. What are you thinking? Well, it looks like you guys have been hanging out on Cool World a lot. And dance fighting, if I'm not mistaken? That's so old school. It's not really that serious. We're doing it, ironically. Ah, I see. Air quotes dance fighting. Well, for what it's worth, I used to go hard AF. Maybe I'll join you guys later and show you how it's really done. Hold on, babe. It's the work hologram. Go for Vader. Vader! Mr. Palpatine! I need you down on Cool World this instant. Way ahead of you. What's up? Our entertainment ventures have met with catastrophic interruptions. What kind of interruptions? Jedi interruptions. Jedi? That's... Are you sure? Of course I'm sure. I know Jedi shenanigans when I see them. You of all people should know that. Okay, fair. Any leads? The reports say it's a man named... Larry. Larry? Yes. Larry Kenobi. Wait. Did you just say... Larry? Yes. Kenobi? Yes. Are you sure it wasn't Obi-Wan Kenobi? I said his name is Larry! Remind me, Duke. Where was I again? You had just left Cool World. Oh, yes. The great Cool World escape. So, what happened after that? What happened after that? Now there's a story for the ages. What happened indeed? Hmm. What happened? You know, Duke, that is an excellent question. So, tell me again what happened? You said you'd give me 50 bucks to drive you home because it was nap time for Obi. I would never do that. 50 bucks is far too much for a designated driver. You're trying to hustle me, aren't you? What's a hustle? It's sort of like a way to make money without having to work for a living. Like your dad. Where the hell are we? It's Sand World. This is not sand, Layla. I see Tundra for miles. You've brought us to Tundra World. Whatever deal we had is off. Did you hustle me? Layla, where is your dad's car? It crashed. What? Crashed? What was I doing during all of this? I slept through the whole thing. I think I might need medical attention. Come on. Hey! Obi needs medical attention! Hey, can you help us? I'm Layla, and this is Obi Nobi. We came from Cool World, and Obi sometimes calls himself Larry. Um, hello? Well, he took too much adult medicine and asked me to drive my dad's car. He crashed here on Tunderworld. Okay, that's quite enough now, Layla. Thank you very much. <coughs> he says, get in. <coughs> I don't think he understands words, Layla. Hey, what's 
up, Tim? Larry and Layla, nice to meet you. Tim says you had a pretty bad accident. Hope you're okay. Yeah, sorry to hear it. All right, we're about to cross a tundra sea. So I hope you two brought your singing voices. Yeah, I don't think he knows what you're talking about. Legend has it, if you're traveling through any kind of big desert, the clockwork man will get you. He'll pull you under the ground and make you part of his machine. Uh-huh. But don't worry. If you sing the ballad of the clockwork man, he will allow you safe passage. Alex, why don't you start us up? The clockwork man was built of wire and tin. His eyes shone bright in the night. Bereft of soul and cast without a skin, he shambled and cried a plaintive flight. Oh, what of the bargain made? Oh, I will find another way. He toiled in dirt as town folk watched in fear. Dark black soot filled the air. And one by one they slowly disappeared as he cried out in despair. I will find another way. Boppity boo boo. Haunting song. To this day, I still don't know what the hell those guys were singing about. It sounded like a beautiful tribute to a misunderstood creature. To me, it sounded like a bunch of superstitious dum dums. Anyway, we had made it safely to town. All right. Let's go over the story one more time. Tell me once again. I was being a troublemaker, mm -hmm. and I dropped my toy, and I wouldn't stop crying, and I made us crash. Very good. And you owe me 50 bucks. You little devil, good hustle. Patient number 1138, please proceed to the examination room. Come on. Come on in, Mr. Kenobi. Hello, I'm Maddie Bud. Did you know that human beings fart enough every day to fill a party balloon? That's really gross. And it is true. If you don't believe me, I have such a balloon in my possession. Thank you, Maddie Bot. That will be all. You're welcome. Your x-rays came back negative for concussive damage, but there is something else we need to talk about. The results of your blood test are... alarming. It appears you have at least quadrupled the lethal amount of midichlorians in your system. I've never seen this many midichlorians in a still-living person before. You may be the one. I'm... the chosen one? Well, chosen by me. For further medical research. Oh. 
I'll be honest with you, Mr. Kenobi. You're an anomaly, and I wish to study you further. So wherever you go, I go. I believe the medical field as a whole will stand to benefit from learning as much about you as possible. I'm willing to waive all my usual expenses. But first, I need you to run a mile. What? A mile? I would like to begin testing while your system is still contaminated. That many midichlorians may give you some kind of physiological advantage we haven't discovered yet. Like what? Like super speed, telekinesis, astral projection, teleportation. Is that true? Trust me, I'm a doctor. All right, let's see what you can do. Right on. <sighs> Super speed! My ass! I'm freezing. Hey, asshole! You have to dance fight me! Again! Okay, I'm just now realizing you've never seen me in my work clothes. It's Anakin. Anakin Skywalker? From our 20 years of friendship? Okay, oh. Come on, bro. I followed your trail from Cool World, Obi. Or should I say, Larry? I don't know if you're doing it on purpose, but you're kind of messing things up for me here, man. And I'm not gonna sit here and do nothing. So let's settle this man to man. out on a dance fight? How about we settle this over Chinese or something? You will not deny me satisfaction. I need carbs, man. <laughs> Bomb moves now. Whoa, look out! Oh, snap! Ah, heat! Ooh. Obi, what? Yes! What are you doing? I'm so cold! Get out of there! So cozy! Join me, Anakin! Somebody help him! It feels so good! Hello, it's me, Medibot. I'm fine, just leave me! Did you know that stomach acid is strong enough to melt Beskar? Oh, that's wild. And true. If you don't believe me, I have some Beskar and you have stomach acid. Okay. I guess we're done here? Stay off the cool world! Yeah, we will do. Oh, thank God. I have to shit so bad. What is up with my body today? Okay, this is getting nuts. You have no idea, Duke. I'm just getting started. Tell me. Oh, you're going to love this. The next part is about you, Duke. What? Indeed. The tale of the young boy who would valiantly do anything for a good story, including my chores. What chores? Take out the rubbish. Fine, I'll take out your trash. Why is it always a hustle with you? Don't be so touchy. Mary Kenobi. 
please report to Dan's Palace. 